Melbourne Design Awards, of course, and I'm joined from Evolution 7, Andrew and Mac, to talk about one of your clients. Hello, Andrew. Hello, for now. <laughs> Tell me about this project, Abercrombie and Kent. Sure. Uh, Abercrombie and Kent are a, a premium travel company. They offer um, uh, guided tours um, for groups and individuals uh, to exotic locations around the world. Um, and they uh, engaged us to redesign and develop their website uh, last year. Okay, so what, what did you do when they engaged you? They said they didn't say just redesign our website, so they asked specifically for some certain elements within the brief. What, what were some of those elements that they needed? Sure. Uh, so they have uh, websites uh, over in the UK and uh, America and I think uh, potentially in Asia as well. Um, so there was an existing suite of um, kind of online assets. Uh, we had to work within the constraints of the existing um, visual hierarchy and, and look and feel. So there was uh, there were restrictions, I guess, in terms of what we could do um, from a visual sense. But mm. there was a lot of um, scope to move in terms of what we could do from a user. Uh, experience point of view and I guess um, we we wanted to focus our attention on the search experience um, what we know about uh, users and um, their behaviors online when it comes to travel is that search um, is the beginning of that um, that experience and it, it has to be a powerful uh, experience and it has to deliver results uh, quickly uh, and accurately according to um, a user's uh, specific needs. Okay, so Mac, can you elaborate on this? What was sure. the, how, how did that then get realised, these search experiences, in order to differentiate, I suppose, yeah. what Abercrombie and Kent have been doing from other competitors, for example? Yeah, so in this case, we, we really homed in on, on the search UX as being critical to the, to the user uh, experience of the site. Um, so that ability for the user to discover and, and surface the right content to the user. So one of the challenges we had with the project was actually that Previously, users uh, could choose between site search and journey search on the site. And what we were finding is they were searching for journeys in site search and they were searching for content in journey search and kind of getting a lot mixed up along the way. Um, so one of, the, one of the things we did was um, to look at different design patterns of how we could kind of unify the search experience. Um, and, and to assist us doing that, we used a, a fairly cutting edge um, search technology called Algolia. Um, so it's search as a service. So working together with Algolia, and, and we're an Algolia partner, um, we're able to kind of create this new kind of design pattern um, for discovering travel content. Um, and probably what's innovative about it is, is a couple of things, but first of all, it's actually basically instant. It works so fast that it's almost imperceptible to the user, which is great. So we know from user experience that conversion is massively assisted um, if pages load within one second or less. Mm. Um, so if we can surface interesting and relevant results to a user within one second, they're much more likely to convert and view more pages and so forth. So probably the other interesting thing with our goal here is we can surface different facets of content at the same time. Um, so if you have a look at the site and you go to the, you know, the search interface, you can type in a single word. So you can type in France or, or Germany or something like that. Um, and as soon as you start typing, the, the results will actually start filtering. Um, so you're actually getting results and the interface is responding to you as you use it. Um, then it will actually surface content. It'll, it'll pick all of the different journeys that are, for example, uh, for France. Um, it'll pick all the news articles that are in France and it'll kind of group that content together for you. So it makes for a really kind of powerful and pleasant search experience. Um, and and that, is, that is kind of borne out in the statistics that we've seen after launch. Um, that have seen a massive increase in the number of conversions and the number of brochure downloads and things like that. So what are some of those stats then? Uh, well, we've got some good stats to share. So um, I think we're, we're looking at um, uh, around a 300% increase in, in unique searches on the site. So it means that search is massively yeah. uh, you know, boosted. Um, we've roughly doubled the conversion rate, which is probably the major one from search. 
Um, so it's often quite hard to, to kind of push that conversion rate up, but doubling it um, as a result of one implementation is, is a massive win for the client. Yeah. So let's talk about that client. Uh, obviously, there are previous websites that existed that already had, as you mentioned before, Andrew, uh, you know, a look and a feel that you had to go along with. But what was the relationship like, Evolution 7, working with Abercrombie and Kent? How did you manage those relationships and also push push it, push it forward, I suppose? Oh, we've got a great ongoing working relationship with Abercrombie and Kent. Uh, we have been working with them for a number of years now and we continue to work with them. Um, the, the project hasn't finished. Uh, whilst we launched the site a number of months ago, uh, we're continually uh, trying to optimise it uh, to improve it for the users, um, to make search um, better uh, and to increase uh, leads and conversions mm. for the client. So, um, yes, it's a, a collaborative relationship and um, it's a, a really enjoyable one. Sounds good. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thanks for